Well, the current government, the Hasla government, is planning to promote the local tourism by increasing fees in some places, an example being the Nairobi National Park. Here, the entry fee will increase from around 400, the current 400, to 2,000 Kenya shillings, something that is expected to be effective from January 2024. This is something that has brought about a lot and mixed a lot of mixed reactions among netizens among kenyans some are okay with it while most are not feeling that indeed this is not a hustler government hmm? i don't know what to take on that you can talk to us in the comment section what do you feel about this increment will it actually just promote it or make it worse so also you can like the video shares out there tell someone about this channel and also subscribe to get the real tea the news as it happens. Well, as we look at what you stated, what's your take on this? We have Aleki here who stated increasing Nairobi National Park fee from 430 to 2000 is crazy. Are these people out of touch with the reality? There's no way I am paying 2K. I will watch Nat Geo honestly. What is the government's plan? Rob us everything and make us poor. He actually feels like the government is trying to take every penny from its citizens. We have someone who reacted to Alekik's comment and uh, they stated they want people to stop going there, then claim that the number of tourists going there cannot sustain it. Then you know what follows. Crypt your town here, Michezo your town, systems your majambazi tubu. And actually, Aleki agreed with him, stating that this actually makes sense. Hmm? They want to close down the national park after they increase the fees and then people are not able to go there. So they'll be like, squeeze your kuna tourism, there's no tourism in the country. Therefore, what do we do? We just have to do something about it or bring in China people and all, all the scripts that they give. On Aleki's comment, you also have someone else who stated, It is easier to control poor and dependent people. I believe the game plan is robbers till we are poor and our spirit is broken the rice and beef hekaya is a low key example of how uzuri wanani narrative saviorhood will be at play when we are dependent on them and like he agreed this is very true and that looks like their plan they want everyone to be poor and if you are poor then you have nothing else to do but your spirit will be down and then you'll just be looking up to them like please government please do this and then when they tell you jump so that i can do this you just jump it feels like they're trying to control the people uh let's have someone else what are they increasing it to 2k why are they increasing it to 2k true story i'm telling you guys people people are not believing this people are not believing this then someone else asked when was the last time you went to the park yeah <laughs> but then when was the last time you guys decided today is that day and we just have to go to the park tell us what is your take on this tell us in the comment section when was the last time you took your time and decided ah oh, ni love I have to go out there and go to them park. Well, as we have just a few accepting this fees and be feeling like it's okay, yeah, let it be. We have Moinde right here stating, we are already struggling regularly accessing green spaces in Nairobi. Uhuru Park is there to reopen. Now they want to charge Kenyans 2,000 Kenyan shillings to access Nairobi National Park? Really? To what end am I the only one who is increasingly feeling like unwanted, an unwanted guest in my own country? Mwende, Mwende, Mwende. Let's see what Kevin told Mwende. Yeah, Kevin told Mwende. I am sure, me, me, Nico, sure, that the animals won't die for missing us. A child. Acha Ika, which sounds hilarious actually, but that's the truth. Okay. Nat Geo will sort you out. Watch our backing a hizo. Some words we don't shout. There is uh, Olise stating that. 
Hey, let's see K here. That's how you move presents away from the nice places. Make them inaccessible. Okay, somebody's son, Alice Ma, stated, I am sure whoever thinks for this government never got <laughs> never got past form four. Maybe. And then at that moment we just had form four students, I'm a form four dropouts, I'm the people who reached form four just chilling, and then somebody's son appeared. Maybe they think that they will collect more if they charge more. I am waiting for that to happen. Okay. How is the country getting worse despite our leaders bending over to imperialists? Going by the happenings, I wouldn't be surprised if soon accessing species like Karula, Karura will only be preserved for of the very well to do. Huh. <laughs> oh, finish. We are so cool. My Lisa, but it's just called finish. Said, but you're willing to spend the same 2k to buy that generation liquor, girl best gin? So, shut up, sit down, relax. If you can pay 2k for the hmm, just sit back and watch. Living in towns is a scam. Sadly, many have been turned to think otherwise. Move out, go to Lloyd, Lloyd Talk Talk or Chaptize. Oh, okay, guys, let's just. And maybe we should go to that place. Buana. That 400 cash was just fair enough. And people could even hire a car, a group of four. And 2K was enough for them. Man. In Nairobi, kuna council meeting for such. So that citizens can actually table issues. Well, we had the current tabling of issues at Wasingishu, which turned, I don't know what. Hmm? It turned tables, pointing fingers here and there. Hopefully the parents will get a solution. We actually covered that story. You should just check it out. Scroll down from my previous uploads. Hey, National Park Wewe. It is we have Juma here who says, Can you imagine these horrible humans have increased the Nairobi National Park fees from 430 to 2000? Like, who the hell does that? Is there anything, anything good that will come out of these people? Anyone willing to pay the cash 2000 Kenya 2k to go watch animals? Mm -hmm. We had people who reacted to Juma's comment and like Philip here stated, Wallahi, Wallahi, Wallah, Wallah, <laughs> Wallahi, no one can convince otherwise. We are under a caste administration. Every day you wake up to watch the doom today. It's clearly a punishment from God. What? That one has decided it's a punishment from God. We had the other day President Ruto saying that we went to the other place, we prayed for rain, and the rain rained with other people are laughing. Now we are harvesting, we are all those things. Anyways, let's see what Otieno said concerning Juma's take. It's madness. Soon they will say it's not viable to have the park there. Are you thinking what I am thinking? That land, relocate the animals and expand CBD land grabbing okay this person is actually thinking out of out of the box the plan is to destroy everything move the park elsewhere and then increase cbd and all do you know it is at the center of the city which is something that is unique and amazing but if this is the plan do you think this is actually what they are planning to move it hmm? to just make it fall although in mind that cannot be the case because imagine the government being in the reigning government whereby Something like that that has always been there falls in your hands. It wouldn't be nice. Hey, someone else just laughed at the comment said, Indeed, this is the bottom-up approach. Hmm. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. We have someone who actually disagrees with this particular statement. I always say we have two sides of everything. And the person here states, Daudi, this poverty mentality, how else do you expect the KWS and tourism sector to generate revenue? You can charge the same rate since 2000, yeah, 2000, or to mean years ago, not the 2000 Kenya shillings. Basically, what they mean is that this growth, things have to change because actually, even the value of the money we have right now has changed. The 1,000 Kenya shillings note that someone had some days ago, some years ago, is not the same amount at this current time. Hey, let's listen into Kemboy. Kemboy stated, I am wondering too, but having seen adults pay to go and play while sliding on mud as part of team building, 
I am pretty sure there are Kenyans who even wish this entry, entry fee is increased to 4,000 Kenya shillings. Actually, that's a fact. It is a fact. As much as people are getting mad because the fees have been increased, we have people who pay lots of money just to go and play in the mud. The canopy, mud games, the... What do you call this? Team building, name them all just to mention but a few. So that person actually is like, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Okay, another one here is stating concerning Juma State. While you were targets that they have to meet by them dosi. So I guess they're just doing whatever it takes to increase collections, so to speak. It's bad minor. So there's nothing they can do actually. Do you know you have seen how lately President Ruto has been tough on his cabinet secretaries, always looking at them, telling them you're not doing this, you're doing that. I should not know more on what you do or on your ministry more than you. I should not have more information concerning your ministry. Yeah? Kukuliko, I should not know it all, and yet you have no information. He also set the one year target thing for them to reach there, so maybe that's what is actually pushing them. Well, well, Morioki, 2000 Bob to enter Nairobi National Park. Are they bringing dinosaurs in there? Yani Ruto wants to milk us to death, Germany. Hey, dinosaurs, my guy. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. We have this other person here. The last time I visited Nairobi National Park, I was in primary school and I think that was my last time. This is the truth. Most people, the last time they did this the National Park visiting, it's during the times they were still in school. I don't know what's it. When was the last time we went there? Talk to us in the comment section, like the video, share us out there. And remember, if it's happening, I know all about it. And if I know all about it, I will tell you all about it so you can choose to like the video shares out there comment down below and subscribe to get the royalty details to tell